Hey folks, this next video in our midterm review is going to be on finding major key signatures that have sharps in them. Um, and this is going to be the non circle of fifths way. I'm going to do a separate video on how to do it with a circle of fifths. So um, the way that we add our sharps to the key signature is in a certain order. So we're going to add them um, in this order F. C, G, D, A, E, B. And for some folks, they remember a mnemonic. The one that um, my students last semester taught me was um, fat cats go down alleyways eating bacon. Um, if you have the order of flats memorized, you can just reverse that. And that will also give you the order of sharps. Um, but that's the order in which we're going to add them to the key signature. So when we're up next to the clef, we add them in this order, F, C, G, D, A, E, B. All right, when we do this, we could technically number these sharps as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have seven sharps. And when we count them over, we count from left to right, not from top to bottom or from right to left. We go from left to right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, um, whenever we have a key signature that has sharps in it, and we want to try and find what do is or you know what the tonic of that key signature is we are going to go to the last sharp and then up a half step and that will tell us what do is or what key signature it is so in this case we have four sharps one two three four we're going to go up from this um this line here, it is D sharp. We're gonna go up a half step to E. And so this would be the key of E major. Now, if you were to write out the E major scale without a key signature, and you were to draw your whole step and half step relationships, like you're going to do in an earlier part of our midterm, you would add them And you would find that the same sharps that you added in order to make the major scale are the same ones that are in the key signature. That is not a coincidence. That is entirely on purpose. So um, the way that you can think of this method of finding do or finding the tonic or finding what key it is, is that this last sharp here, this is T. This is the leading tone to the tonic. It is the seventh scale degree that leads to the eighth scale degree. So that is one of the ways that we find the tonic or do um, using sharps. Again, you can do this with any number of sharps. So in this case, we have one, two. This last sharp here is C sharp. If we go up a half step from C sharp, we get D. Again, we could technically check that. And if we were to do our whole and half step relationships by building this scale, we would find that the same sharps that we have here in our scale are the same ones that are in the key signature. Again, not a mistake at all. So that's going to be true regardless of whether you are in treble or bass clef. We're simply just going to make sure that when we add sharps to the different clefs that we add them in the appropriate order. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. Our fifth and last sharp is A sharp. If we go up a half step, we are going to have B as our tonic. Now, one thing that's really important to remember is that half steps are important here. You can't just go up 
one note and assume that that is going to be correct. Let's look at our last sharps, for example. We have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, uh -huh, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and E sharp is good enough. We'll look at that one. So E sharp, when we go up a half step from E sharp, one, if we look down at our piano keyboard, you're going to see that E sharp occupies the same key as F natural. And so if we go up a half step from E sharp, it's not just F that we get to, it's F sharp, right? So it's really important to know exactly what pitch you're going to. In this case, you are going from E sharp not just up to regular F, but up to F sharp. Another thing, another way to know that you're going to F sharp is that look back here. Our first sharp is F sharp. F sharp is already in the key signature, so it can't be F natural at all, right? So that's really important to remember when we're getting to our sixth and seventh sharps because both of those are ones where we end up going to a sharped note, right? So C sharp major is actually our next one that we go to after this when we add um, B sharp. So when we go up a half step from B sharp, same thing. We're not going to C natural, we are going to C sharp. And remember, C sharp, it's already in the key signature. So it can't possibly be C natural it has to be C sharp. All right, so that's a really important thing to remember about our sharp keys. And again, our last sharp, or the one that is furthest to the right, is going to be T or the seventh scale degree, and we go up a half step to Doe.